According to our latest report, Asia Pacific region impressive growth and impressive momentum. Tell me more about what does that mean for the overall role of Asia Pacific in the global economy? Asia Pacific, as always, has been a very important driver of global growth. And this year, particularly in 2023, if you look at the second half of this year, about 75% of the growth is coming from the Asia Pacific region. China and India are playing a very important role in this uh, growth, these growth numbers that we see. Now that said, there is variation across countries in the Asia Pacific region. If you look at advanced Asia, so if you look at Japan, for example, or Korea, their growth is slowing compared to last year. And especially if you look at Korea, you see that. But if you look at emerging Asia, that's where you see growth this year being higher than the previous year. So there is variation. It's not all one story. But as a whole, the region is certainly uh, doing well. What about specifically going to drive the Chinese economy? Since you talk about China more than 30 percent in terms of growth in the region, how does that work? Uh, what are the pillars from your perspective? So a big part of the growth we're seeing for China this year compared to last year is because of the reopening. So I think we have the rebound in private consumption that we expected to see. It's coming strong mm. and that is an important part of the strong growth. But at the same time, we have to keep in mind that private investment is still subdued in China, again, tied to the weakness in the real estate sector. Mm. And again, exports could be a headwind because we're seeing the U.S. and Europe slowing, uh, which means their demand for products from the rest of the world would slow. So that is also having, would have a negative spillover effect on China. Mm. What is important is we believe that fiscal policy in China should remain a neutral fiscal stance but it should support households in terms of the composition. It should be able to provide more support to households so that that can further increase private consumption. And we also think monetary policy should, should be accommodative. And you know, that could come along with some more uh, interest rate uh, cuts and providing greater accommodation.